12 bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out uh, for yourself as well as others. You know, all of us are going through some really crazy times right now and it's just a blessing for us to be able to uplift one another especially through those times of need so you know keep spreading the love so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance, you are either need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support and i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um post my 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 post notification jesus excuse me um my meditation music i'm listening to in the background is called sac uh sacral chakra healing chants balance emotions and enhance creativity seed mantra uh vam meditation i will post that link in the description box below it's giving off me these really peaceful vibes i love listening to the the monk uh mantras and stuff like that it can be very powerful and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey oka sometimes the experiences we experience things just to see how far we have come there is a lot of y'all that you know i'm so proud of y'all i'm happy for y'all all in the same vibe all in the same breath you know we have you know it, it's just like the longer i've known a lot of you you've been with me for probably six months or longer even maybe a year longer and it's just a beautiful feeling i can hear that you know certain things can resurface that was very painful in your life you know um where it doesn't really allow your vibe you're not allowing it that situation that is from your past allow it to affect you in the way it used to and it's just like you know a lot of times we could be doing something you know we could be talking to somebody or even watching a movie or something and certain things will remind us of a certain situation that we've been through and it's like when my I'm, I'm, now i'm starting to get to that point where you know if there are certain things that have appeared in my life that was not so pleasant you know I, I just tell the universe can you please replace this you know with love um this no longer belongs to me you know it's all that that experience was like a lesson and a blessing to me to get my strength um and knowledge from you know and when you are able to allow yourself to separate from there or you can actually look at it as a positive aspect even though it might have been very tra traumatic for you that allows you to know you know good you know the universe wants to know okay we, they see you they have faith in you but it's just how you see yourself how you validate yourself do you see yourself as being stronger and wiser you know and if you feel that way they want to be able to place things in your life to be able to allow you to see and even get that energy and vibe you know hey you know this is no longer affecting me the way it used to or hey you know these experiences or they'll even have you go through a similar situation that you probably been through weeks ago or months ago or years ago just that it could be a different person but almost the same scenario of something that really made an impact in your life in the most traumatic way and it's just all about how you you respond to it because a lot of times when 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 things go in our life or affect us in our life in the most negative way you can allow yourself to not even engage with it you know there are certain times things have been said to me especially you know certain people drop comments towards me just to get a you know a rise out of me or they might not have believed a certain thing i have said or you know try to challenge me towards that you know i love challenges but when somebody tried to insult your tell intelligence you know i used to be that one that had to clap back like i know the hell you ain't coming up, up on my space you know trying to tell me about some stuff i say i love when people challenge me but it's like you know is the way people can do it to like you know basically say you're stupid or you know or i don't believe you that's okay not everybody's gonna believe you when you know you're going up towards things in life there's not gonna be a lot of people that understand your path understand where you're you're going 
you know, understanding your journey. You might not even believe everything that you're doing. But sometimes with us being hey okas, you have to understand you you will mirror things towards people they are not comfortable with. You know, they might not want to see the truth in you. Their the truth is slap them right dead in the face and they'll still sit up here and say, No, it's not true. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Long as you understand your path, long as you know where you're going, that's what is important. If you know you can infect, affect somebody in a positive way and leave that, you know, positive frame of mind towards them, those are your blessings. Those are the things you were supposed to do. You know, there's going to be some people that, you know, get you, that understand you, and they're going to praise you just because the fact is you don't impact them in their life to have them look at certain situations in their life and they're able to heal. It's a blessing when I, I can be able to put my videos out. And it could be, you know, resonating with something that just happened in your life. You know, it's like universe wanted me to speak on certain things. There are certain things I don't really like speaking on if it's like a negative thing. You know, I always want to be able to, you know, put something out that's negative, but have you look at it in a positive frame of mind. But if it's just like, Rosalind, we, we know you don't like doing this, but can you just talk about this? I'm like, oh, do I have to? You know, like, yeah, you do. Because there are certain people that are going through this and they need to have that sign. And I'm like, okay, I get it. So it's just a lot of times, you know, we, we tend to have to go through certain situations or there are certain things that, you know, happen in our life they want us to reflect on. Like, hey, you're doing a good job. You know, you're, you're further than you thought you were. Because there's a lot of times where, you know, you have not actually got to where you really want to be at in life. There's a lot of us are not where we want to be in life. But if you know you're working hard for it, you're trying to keep your mind focused on the things you truly want. You know, because it's like with darkness. Darkness will throw a monkey wrench in your program. <laughs> you know, get you off of that positive frame of mind and have you go back ten times forward. But if you already see what it is and you see something is being you're like, oh, you gotta be, mm -mm. <laughs> gotta be quicker than that. You know, is just certain things will be placed in our lives like that little Easter egg to see if you are you gonna you know you're gonna react to it the way you used to. Are you going to learn the thing? Are you going to reflect on the things that you've been learning through that situation or through that experience to know if this happens again, then you know how to respond to it. And there's a lot of times we go through that just so we know how to respond off of certain things. You know, it's just like you telling, you know, I'm not going to allow nobody to take the, have the keys to my happiness. And there'll be some people that will come just to try to mess your day up because theirs is bad. You know, there's, you know, there's people out there will do that. You know, misery loves company. I'm the type of person, if I'm miserable, I ain't trying to have you having that miserable vibe with you. I, Because I know what it felt like when people did that to me. You know, when we're that that empath that are we are affected by people's energy. And it can be very powerful. It can be very heavy. You know, there are some people, you know, I have to live, live in love from a distance. Like, you know what? I'm trying to let you, you know, see what everything is about. You know, there's some people I used to work with that just had that heavy energy and they were comfortable with being like that. Even though, you know, you try to throw them a bone of positivity and they just weren't hearing it. They didn't want to budge. Well, okay. You do that mess over there and I'll, do, I'll be right here. <laughs> but don't bring that mess to me. You know, I've had people like that. And it's just the experiences that I've went through, whether it was good or bad. You know, it's always impacted my life in a better way because that allowed me to see, like, okay, you know, you are learning. You see this situation, it didn't affect you like it did before because a lot of times we go through things and say, why do we have to go through this? Why do we have experiences? This is so messed up. That's the whole point. So you can be able to go through something, learn that life of, you know, re, you know, be that voice of reason and see why you had to experience a lot of tough things in your life, a lot of messed up things in your life, so you can learn from that, for you can grow off of it. It's not meant for you to just keep thinking about it, you know, because it's like you're putting your energy in something that you can't change. And, you know, I have to be able to separate myself from that. There's a lot of times I've done that. There's sometimes I'll do that and I have to, hey, 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 rewind, go back. Because, you know, if you're like talking to a friend or, you know, y'all just going back and saying, oh, I remember I went through this. I remember I went through that. And it's just like you, you can be able to set that, you know, that situation as, a, as an example, but not going through it. Because, you know, if you put yourself in that certain memory, you know, and it was so tragic. It's just like you're living it all over again. You can be like, oh, yeah, I went through something similar than this. But I learned, you know, you can turn it around and convert it into a positive experience. You know, I went through this certain situation before, you know, but it helped me learn this and this and this and that. And there's a lot of times it's just like we're, we're heading towards our blessings. 
and there will be people from our past that will come back, especially if there was something that made a negative impact on your life. It's not meant for you to be angry anymore. I mean, there was some people I had to clearly cuss the hell out and tell them, hey, <laughs> I didn't say nice, so nice things to them because they, you know, they went and intentionally, their mission was to intentionally mess my life up, but they wanted to make theirs better. And it's just like, you can't do that. You, you can't expect your life to be all grand when your, your intentions are to hurt a person because you feel like their light shines a lot better than yours. I've had experiences like that, even though your light could have been shining as much as mine, but you were too busy focusing on my life to try to ruin it instead of healing on the places you needed to. So it's like people have came into my life and it's just like, you know, are you, you know, this person's coming back. And a lot of people I tell, you know, a lot of people from your past is like, either is is to see how far you have learned how far you have came or they're seeking start you know seeking closure you know i can be it, it's just like i can I, I appreciate the experience i've had with certain people they have really made an impact on my life in the most negative way but that don't mean you know when they come back i remember what they did i ain't gotta sit up here you know engage in with it you can still be polite you can still be cordial but you don't have to be all engaged with them again because you knew what that experience did to you. You learn from what the, what they they had to offer you might not have been that good, you know. But it's just like when they do, oh, thanks for, you know, stopping by and seeing me or thanks for calling or thanks for reaching out, you know. But I just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, I've had people do that and, they, you know, they make small talk. I can't stand when people make small talk. If you know I'm an empath, you know small talk is not going to get me. It's going to aggravate me. I'm like, oh. We ain't really got nothing to talk about. So it's all well to the good. But then there are some people, they, they'll think certain things is going to trigger me into welcoming them, welcoming, 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 wanting them to re-enter my life. I don't know why welcoming was a hard thing to say. But, you know, them, them coming towards me again, I'm like, oh, you know, I appreciate it. You know, some people use something that they seen about my dad and then they're trying to send it to me. I'm like, oh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And, you know, and they try to make small talk and I see where it's coming from. I see what place you're coming from. Because it's like when it, people think that you're further than them or they feel like you're going to be in competition to them, they will come back into your life just to make sure they can sabotage you. As soon as I said that, that's just confirmation. <laughs> so you got to keep your eye. You got to be woke all the way when certain experiences like that come up. But you don't have to be mean. You don't have to stoop, stoop to their level. Just know you on bigger and better. You ain't got time to fraternize with stuff like that. But there's a lot of times universe will place that certain person in your life just to remember. I mean, you don't need to go off in different frequency and being able to have that same pain that they you had when you experienced that situation with them. But just forgive, let go. But don't forget about what they did. You, you ain't got to be no fool now. You can be in a loving place but don't play you know being a loving place and playing a fool by putting these people back in your life you know but i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video and knowing everything that happens in your life is always a learning experience it can either make you or break you but it's just always a reminder to let you know that you know you really came a long way so give yourself that credit to know that you know you have really walked uh evolved into something special and we we'll give a post notification shout out to buttercup much love to you uh welcome to the family i hope that y'all have a blessed blessed safe weekend be responsible and safe for everything you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and you know um just send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace